Victor, it's finally arrived. Wayne and Dave for your title fight. Mate, how are you feeling? Uh, really good, yeah. Usually I'm a bit anxious and um, like scared, I guess. But yeah, I feel really confident for once. Uh, I'm just ready to get in there and throw, yeah. It's going to be fun. Um, can you tell me, you know, where does the confidence come this time? Uh, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I went through a, some a pretty tough emotional stuff at the start of the year already. Uh, it tested me a lot. And I think I just want to get in there. It's liberating to fight. It's liberating to get in there. And um, yeah, it's, it's just relinquish all that pain. It sounds a bit cringy, but uh, yeah, that's probably it. I, I don't know. Got a very tough opponent in front of you with Sean. Uh, what are you expecting him to bring to the table tomorrow night? Uh, I think he's going to bring heavy shots. I think he's going to throw big telegraph bombs at me, though. I think I'm going to dance around, um, see him coming, and I'm going to move around, yeah, land shots on his back. Very last question for you. How does this fight finish tomorrow night? Uh, I, I want it to go, I want to put on a good show for the crowd uh, via both of our both of our skill sets, both of our grit, both of our conditioning. Uh, I think I think I have the ability to finish him anywhere it goes, either striking on the ground, wrestling, wherever. So I'm hoping to just play along, play it out, chill out, and the finish will come to me eventually, wherever it comes. Yep. I'd love it. Thank you very much. We'll see you tomorrow. No Thank you very much. Sean, welcome back to XFC. How's this prep been? This prep's been really good, man, really good. I mean, unlike the last fight where I had like five hours notice, this one we've had like the whole camp. So it's been really good. Really good and feeling really strong. I was going to say, you've been rewarded now for taking a fight on such short notice now to get a title bout. How does that feel? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an honour. I mean, I've, I've been here doing the title fight before. I fought for the super lightweight, I think, three or four years ago. Um, I didn't get away with it, but this one I'm looking to take home with me. Do you find that there's more pressure now that you've actually had a full camp instead of taking on short notice, like more pressure to perform or same, same? Same, same, man. It, this is what we do. This is exactly what we do. We train all the time. It doesn't matter it, whether it's boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, Kyokushin, MMA, Jiu-Jitsu, wrestling. We are consistently going all the time. So this is just another day in the office, to be honest. A couple more questions. Number one, I want to ask after this fight, you know, is there a chance that you might be turning professional? That's not up to me. That's up to my coach, Jordy. It's com I can just completely up to him. If he feels I'm ready, sweet. If not, we just keep going what we're doing. Absolutely, and now one for you. I want to just ask you, when you go to bed at night, how do you see this fight finishing? Me with my hand raised. I'm just confident. I'm not overconfident, just no, I feel really good. So I'm pretty sure I'm taking that strap home, mate. Beautiful, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much. We do want to thank you for your patience, of course. It was paramount that, due to the severity of Jackson's injury, that we did take him away carefully and safely. And then, of course, we couldn't resume the night without our medical staff cage side. So I do want to thank you for your patience here tonight. Now that we are back, we are in to the tip of our night. This is a round fight of the night. So. This is an amateur welterweight title fight. We have five rounds, three minutes each. Please welcome Victor Lyle. So here we have Victor the Impaler Lyle coming out of Gamebred Academy. Gosh, he's made a few walks to the cage, hasn't he? So this will be his 11th walk, seven and three records so far. Now, we're going to see muscles on muscles. He's, he's certainly pit, built and put together very well. One of the things I really enjoy is the cardio he brings to the table. Yeah. You expect him to fatigue. He just never gets tired. And again, I, again, you know, I talk about saying I've never seen a boring women's fight. I've never seen a boring Victor Loyal fight. Literally every fight he's in is a fighter than I contender. Massive legs, tree trunk legs. And I was kind of, um, again, it's one of these um, incredibly matched fights where both of these guys both deserve an XFC title. It's one thing to deserve it. Only one will have the hand raised tonight. I'll tell you what, Victor Lyle's gone through all that eight gajillion hairstyles since he's been started fighting. I think my preference was the blonde ponytails. Yeah, I like the long um, Fabio look was pretty good. <laughs> not only we're not only touching on his uh, one thing we've forgotten about. Not only is he a phenomenal fighter, but he's also a ring boy. Oh yeah, he's uh, a female fight. Yeah, that's right. So uh, obviously a lot of female in the crowd right now supporting him from his uh, stint as a ring boy. Yeah. But, and, um, yeah. In the corner we have uh, Lonnie Filamahala who has vacated his welterweight title. 
uh, to give his teammate a shot. Three-time champ, three-time weight division champ, Lonnie Philomahala stepping sideways so that his uh, teammate, Victor Lyle, can have a crack at this welterweight belt. Yeah. And the other part too is Victor is incredibly smart. So I believe he has three degrees to his name. Wow. So one thing you'll notice, Simon Clark. Okay, please welcome his opponent, Sean Wilson. First degree is in squats, I believe. <laughs> um, and, then, and then bench press, eh? <laughs> But no, so, Shawnee Showtime Olsen, as we said, hasn't been a stranger here before. We've got Black Dragon Kai and Fight Club Jiu-Jitsu, where he sports a purple belt, but also he is a ridiculously good quality striker as well. This is his seventh walk to the cage, uh, three and three record. A lot, one of those uh, previously fighting for the super lightweight title, and just impressive across the, across the board. He's the WKBF Australian middleweight uh, title holder. Obviously fights in Jiu-Jitsu, Kudo, Kokosam, Muay Thai, and also boxing. So he's got an extreme fight pedigree and IQ that yeah. we're interested to see tonight. And his record is 3-3, three three, but it could easily be 6-0. and oh. you know, Again, every single fight he's been in has been phenomenal. Came very, very close to grabbing the uh, super lightweight XFC belt not too long ago. Come up a little bit short there. So yeah, again, this fight means everything to him. And one thing I'm really excited about is, you know, Shawnee was in a, uh, a boxing bout only a couple of weeks ago with uh, Tim Schultz, a very established fighter, and looked phenomenal. You know, so we saw in the interview before that Victor was kind of exper uh, expecting some big looping shots. From what we saw in uh, Shawnee's boxing fight, it's going to be anything but that. He was incredibly sharp. Um, his his counter punches were phenomenal. Uh, and yeah, I, I just couldn't get over how sharp and fast his punches were. And talking about being put well together, Shawnee's no slouch in the physique uh, department either. Has big tree trunk thighs as well. And off memory, he doesn't tire either. So I'm really looking... Introducing first, in the blue corner. Weighing in at 76.8 kilos. With an amateur record of seven wins, three losses. Fighting out of Game Red Academy. Victor! Lyle! And his opponent. In the red corner, he weighed in at 76.8 kilograms, fighting at a Black Dragon Kai, holding an amateur record of three wins and three losses. Give it up for Shawnee Showtime Olsen! Your referee in charge is Nakia Melody. All right, boys, you both know the rules. Listen to my commands all times and obey my commands all times. You want to touch gloves, do it now. Head back and let's get ready. If he gets through this pretty quickly, he might jump on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Would not surprise me coming out of BDK. So this is for the amateur wealth weight title. Wow. They're swinging. Oh, nice, Victor. By Victor. So what we're expecting to see from the game breakthrough here is lots of grinding fence work to a strong ground and pound. Shawnee wants nothing of it and we're able to reverse it. To be fair, it's a game plan that Victor's never really utilised. There was one fight he fought Dylan Murphy and took him down to a head arm track, but that's his only submission win. It's a lot of striking with Victor. Uh, oh, boys are swinging. They certainly are. I was really impressed with Victor then on the on the break from the clinch, able to get that last strike in place. Good check by Johnny Olsen. He's got a bit of a mouse under the uh, left eye there too, Shawnee does. Oh, another. That's not going to help it. Down and coming up. 
Beautiful combos. Oh, question mark kick. Victor Lyle is producing some phenomenal I feel strikes like we haven't seen before. I feel like he's coming out to prove he's the better Muay Thai fighter. These guys are certainly focused right now. Victor switching stance a little bit. Didn't quite sell that entry for the takedown well enough. Shawnee was able to get a double unhook to bring it up. Please go five rounds, boys. Ooh, nice check. So for everyone at home, this is for a... Oh, wow, title. left hand. I want him to turn around so I can see if he's going to vault on the other one. That was a huge left hand by Victor. It's very rare to see Victor working off the back foot. Sean doesn't matter, just keeps pressing into him. Yeah, that welt on the eye of Shawnee Olsen starting to creep up towards his forehead. He's eating them well. Oh! I think he snuck that left in there as he was falling. Super technical striking here. They're throwing everything at each other. This is the top of the food chain, isn't it? Shawnee had a nice little smile on that one. He enjoyed it. That's a good kick. 20 seconds to go in the round. That was a thunderous kick there, wasn't it? Sean's timing on his checks is beautiful. Right, knee and shin on shin. 10 seconds left. He does that little switch really quickly, doesn't he? Oh, wow. That last kick could have done some damage. Yeah. When you straighten out that leg like that, that's when you really could dig it in. Yeah, yeah Shawnee come it good. Shawnee come good at the end of that round. Victor looked incredibly, in, uh, incredibly impressive. Probably some of the biggest blows I've seen Victor land as well. Yeah, yeah normally, normally you see Victor, he's usually the person pressing him up against the cage and getting his striking on. Shawnee's certainly putting him on his back foot. And it comes down to the movement. Um, doesn't look like Victor's taking Sean lightly, and rightly so. Yeah, Jordy Lavis McBain in the corner of Shawnee Olsen there. With Dan White, who I can tell you has a really nice body kick on him. Body knee rather. Yeah, I was thinking that the entire time, you know, with all the uh, pressure that Victor was putting on Shawnee, he's been in this, he's been in the trenches like this at training all the time, you know. You know Chuck Norris checks under his bed every night for uh, Jordy Lavis McBain. So you know a guy like Jordy's put him in uh, under this sort of pressure before. Straight back into it. Oh, oh. big shot by both sides. Oh, that rocks Sean, it looked like. Well, he's going to the well for that leg kick quite a few times. Oh, beautiful question mark kick there. He sold that well because he had a really nice high knee to start it off with. Beautiful defense here, stopping the single leg. How crazy to think, you know, the amount of time Shawnee, the amount of time Victor's walked through the exit CK, just the first time we've actually seen them compete against each other. Probably makes even more sense now that we get it over five rounds rather than three. And also with a full fight uh, camp underneath both of them. Like able to prepare for each other and know exactly what they're going to do. Nice reversal there. And beautiful left hook on the uh, after breaking the clinch. Oh, dropped the kick himself to the line. Are you not entertained? Don't blink. This could be over in a second. Good right uppercut by Sean. Oh, 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 he hurt him. Oh, he hurt him. He's hurt Can him. He recover? Oh, oh. He's got him. Back is... oh. It might be over oh. soon. There it is. Nakia Melody oh, stops the gosh. fight. Victor Lyle takes the amateur XFC welterweight title. Oh, what my a gosh. Fight. These boys had all the power to finish that fight at any time. Victor Lyle jumps on the opportunity, closes it out.
We were just saying that that's some of the hardest shots we've seen Mr. Wilde put on exactly in the right opportunity there it when is he gets the a title shot. There's that replay, that right hook. Big shot there. Nakia Melody's watching the whole time. And again, another belt is going to Game Bread. What a well matched fight all the way up to that last big shot, hey? I'll tell you what, though, I'm going to be honest. Lonnie Filmahala, Dane Elgin, Oren Palmley, I've said it a million times, the ugliest blokes in MMA. Now we finally have a supermodel from <laughs> Game Bread with a belt around his waist. You know what? Finally, I'm, we can celebrate. There's, they're probably not very far away from all going pro now. Oh, absolutely. And it's going to be really cool. Because I was part of Game Bread back in the early days of Ben Wall in the UFC, Brendan O'Reilly in the UFC, Beck Rawlings was there in the UFC at the same time. And to see it, all this new generation start tipping over from amateur to pro, I think it's going to be a pretty cool moment for them. You, you've got to say it, hands down, Game Bread have got the best amateur ranks in the country. You know, and, and you can't deny that with the, uh, the belts they've got at the moment. So you're exactly right. Uh, and I think we might be in that phase of Australian MMA where we start seeing a lot of amateurs go pro. Yeah. You know, Lonnie has to. Uh, Connor Birch has to. You know, it's really, really impressive what we're about to see now. Just Memi Balls. The Danny referee has lifted. stopped this fight at 1 minute 36 in the second round. The winner of this fight by TKO. In the blue corner. Victor <laughs> What an absolute war. And that's what it takes to win a, an XFC belt. With your new welterweight title holder, Victor the Impaler, Lyell. That was levels above what we've seen from Victor before. I just felt he sat down on his punches and found his head positioning way better, where usually he's like, oh, I think I'll just use my head as my defense. Tell you what, imagine if he takes his um, conditioning seriously, if he ever comes pro, like <laughs> where we'd go to next. I am here with XFC amateur welterweight champion, Victor Lawyer! Talk me through it, Victor. I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, I was actually surprised. I thought I would take him down easily. Not necessarily finish it, but I thought I'd dominate him in the wrestling and in the cage. Uh, he actually defended my takedowns really well, which surprised me. I didn't want to force him too much because I didn't want to gas out. And surprisingly, I was very, well, I was always confident in my striking, but I was outlanding him by heaps. So I thought I'd just keep it there for a while and not try to force anything too much. Now, I've asked you this before, and I'm going to ask you again. That was a professional performance. Are we going to go professional now after that win? Yeah, whatever. It's all a game to me. Um, I'm just going to bang heads off. So... A lot of this, this stuff was conquer, uh, conquering my fears and getting over my own anxiety and this is probably the least anxious I've ever been in my whole life, let alone for a fight, so yeah, I feel good. Look Victor, you looked amazing in your weigh-ins, you looked confident in your interview, you came out here composed, Mid head kicks, overhand rights, attempted takedowns, what more can we ask for? Is there anyone you want to thank for tonight? Yeah, obviously all my coaches, uh, Simon Clough, Ryan Dunson, who's not here, Andrew Keogh, Jason Lonigan, my boy Lonnie always amps me up. I feel soft and he makes me hectic. So he's the man. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone that came here to support me. This is the most support I've ever had for a fight. I'm pretty bad at being friendly, uh, but everyone knows I am friendly. So, you know, I come around and try to thank you all face to face. I really appreciate it. Thank God. Thank everyone else. That's it. Everybody, your welterweight XFC amateur champion, Victor Lyle.